Hey everyone, my name is Vidalin and in this video we are going to see how you can use a completely local VLM or a visual language model to convert your PDFs into Markdown using Olama and Doclink. Let's get started. If you want to get access to the complete source code and a complete text tutorial, go and subscribe to MLX Web Pro. There you can find a complete AI engineering academy that starts from AI and machine learning fundamentals, goes through how you can deploy your own machine learning models to production, and then go through AOMs, agentic applications, ARAX and CAX. So if you want to become a better AI engineer, go and subscribe to MLX Pro. Thank you. In a previous video, I have shown you how you can use Doclink with an local OCR model to convert PDFs into Markdown. And in today's video, we're going to be replacing the classical OCR model with Nanonet's OCR S, which is a VLM or visual language model that is a fine tune of Quen 2.5. We're going to be using the GGUF version of the model that was created by Unswot and it is available on Hugging Face. The PDF file that we're going to be converting into a markdown is this NVIDIA financial results. So as you can see, this is a nicely structured file with a lot of financial information and uh, some tables in it. So we're going to see how well the model is performing compared to the OCR one. In order to process the PDF file and convert it to a markdown using the VLM model Nanonet's OCR S, we're going to be using the pipeline options for VLM options API. And as you can see here, I'm passing in my local URL for OAMA. I'm going to be passing in the model that we're going to be using along with a prompt, a timeout, a scale of the image and the response format that we want, which is going to be a markdown. And in order to create a pipeline, I'm going to be creating an instance of VLM pipeline options. Here it is really important to set enable remote services equal to true and then add the VLM options themselves, which are going to be including the model that I have shown you, the Nanonet's OCR SGUF file, along with a prompt that you want to get the complete page OCR from the PDF image to markdown. So in order to get this to work, you need to create a document converter instance. And instead of the OCR pipeline, we're going to be passing in the pipeline class of VLM pipeline along with the pipeline options. Here we are replacing the classical OCR models with this one. Then in order to convert our PDF file, I'm going to be creating a document path to the file itself. And then I'm going to be calling document converter dot convert passing in the document path along with the pages that I want to convert. Note that this took roughly 53 seconds on my local M3 Pro machine. Of course, if you have a much better GPU or a beefier machine, these numbers should be much better compared to what you're seeing here. This is including loading the 3 billion quantized model on my GPU RAM. And if you have longer PDFs, this again should be much better. So after you do the conversion itself, you can use the export to markdown method to get the raw markdown result. But uh, in order to have a look at what the actual output is, I'm going to be using our display image helper function. You can see that at least on this second page, we are seeing the two tables extracted. Uh, note that within the table right here, there are some misalignments of the headers. Uh, note that we have another header here in millions, which should be this column right here. Of course, those types of models are not perfect. And in any occasion, I would stick to OCR models if I want to do full page OCR. In this video, we've seen how you can use a VLM or visual language model instead of a classical OCR model within a Doclink pipeline. And from my experiments, classical OCR models, even the free ones, are pretty good at extracting information from PDF, at least a bit better compared to open VLMs. But if you want to extract specific elements such as images, 
tables and other structured information and you can do some nice prompting on your models you are probably better off using a VOM otherwise if you just want to extract the complete text of the document probably you're still better off with a OCR model of course depending on your use case you are going to be needing to do some evaluations in this case we've seen that for extracting general information from a pdf for a rack pipeline for example it is probably better to use a classical ocr model thanks for watching guys please like share and subscribe also if you want to get the complete source code along with a complete text tutorial that is going to go through how and why you should build your own document processing pipeline go and subscribe to mx pro Thank you for watching, join the Discord channel that I'm going to link down into the description of this video and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.